Hi, I'm Bruce and today I'm going to show you how to make this pallet wood sign and you'll be able to make your own stencil with whatever words you want on it to complete the look. I shot this video last year before I had done quite a few lighting upgrades in the shop. To start, find something to nail your pallet wood to. I'm using a scrap piece of 3 quarter inch plywood. So I used a method I saw Bob Claggett from I Like To Make Stuff use where he cuts out this section so that he can use a French cleat system on the back side and hang it on a wall. I cut my French cleat to 45 degrees and secured it back to the original piece. Pallet wood can be so frustrating sometimes, and to help with this, I cut all of the boards to the same width. That way, I could mix and match with my different colors and know that all of the rows would line up perfectly. So let's put all of this on that board. Just place the pieces in a pattern that you like add a little glue and nail them to the board. I let mine hang over the edges a little so that I could just trim them all flush with a circular saw afterward. Once I got one side trimmed, I even used my table saw on the final side. bit of sanding on the edges and then I added some spray lacquer. I've made another sign like this in the past, and for that, I bought a vinyl stencil from an Etsy store. This time, I wanted to see if I could make it without having to buy one. I printed out the name I wanted on it and laid some painter's tape on some freezer paper. Then, I cut out the letters, secured the stencil to the board, and painted it. Be sure to keep the little cutouts for the inside of your letters. You're going to need to stick them back on. For a modern twist on this rustic sign, I added a simple box around the name by laying out some more painter's tape in a thin pattern. I liked this box shape. I have marked out some spots with painter's tape for where we're going to orient this. So the baby's crib will be right here. This is the bottom level of the sign. Of course, with a French cleat system, we're going to have to put the cleat up high because that's where I have it sitting in the sign. But I've also marked the outsides of my sign so that I can tell where I need to be between. Um, these marks here just represent the studs to make sure that I don't drill into those because the types of anchors I have work with sheetrock. Thanks for watching, and if you're not already subscribed to my channel, click that red subscribe button so you're notified of any future videos. Leave me a comment below and let me know what you think or if there's a better way to make a stencil.